Welcome to the Canadian Intellectual Property Office's educational video series called Intellectual Property Strategy, the Problem Solver's Guide to Staying Out of Trouble. In these videos, you will learn what an intellectual property strategy is and the steps you can take to develop one for your business. Step 6. Reassess and Realign even the most perfectly thought out strategy can be affected by unforeseen factors, which could be reasons your IP strategy needs to change. Many businesses have an invention, they apply for a patent with an idea on where to file, and then head back to business as usual. This is what some IP strategists refer to as file and forget, and can result in an irreversible trajectory for your business. These days, the rate of invention and technology adoption are changing fast, so your IP strategy will need constant fine-tuning. It's a living plan, reflecting how you will protect and use your ideas to adapt to the changing IP landscape around you. Make sure you always have an IP strategy that is relevant to your business goals. For example, your business objective may evolve over time. New competitors may enter the market and disrupt the current market dynamics. This may require a change in resource allocation and in how IP assets are prioritized. Your own business may evolve over time. Strategic partnerships or unexpected product or service changes may happen. This may bring extra IP assets into the portfolio that need management and may require resources to be reprioritized. Assets can become expensive to maintain. Some IP assets, once granted or registered, require the payment of maintenance fees at specific times to remain in good standings. These fees may become costly and require review and prioritization. The cost of maintaining IP assets should be weighted against their business value. You should plan for a regular review and reprioritization of incoming and active IP assets. The frequency for review varies for different businesses and their IP portfolio sizes. Many global businesses review their IP annually, quarterly, or even monthly. The direction of your IP portfolio is important. And as your business IP assets grow over time, your branding or technology may also evolve. The cost to maintain and manage your IP assets may also grow over time, and you may need to consider regular trimming and refocusing. Your business position may also change and you may need to consider acquiring more IP assets to secure the desired or extra IP protection. Reassessing and realigning your IP strategy means you keep an eye on the IP around you and that you monitor and manage your IP. Monitor the market and competitors. If you detect infringement, will you know what to do? Enforcement of IP rights is the responsibility of the IP holder, not the IP office. Infringement can be easier to detect with certain IP rights such as counterfeit trademark goods or patented products. However, in some cases it can be really hard to detect, for example, patented processes, because you generally can't detect what process has been used to produce a certain widget by looking at the produced product. In these harder to detect infringements, you may need to hire a professional who can reverse engineer to determine which process was used. We're talking about infringement, as it may have a big impact on your IP strategy. Litigation in Canada can be very expensive, and it may not be a viable option for many businesses. It's important to consider whether you want to go after a competitor to stop them from infringing, or litigate to recover damages. If you suspect you have an infringement case, we urge you to consult an IP lawyer to decide on what to do. In some cases, a notice letter and having a conversation with the infringing party could be the start of a new business partnership. This concludes our video on how to develop an intellectual property strategy. By now, you know where and how to access the IP inventory checklist so you can do your own IP inventory. You've also seen some examples of where you can learn more about others' IP rights and how to find the right expertise to make sure you can do an external IP audit and get a good understanding of the IP around you. From this stage, you identify your business goals and detect potential IP gaps. Then you can proceed with step 4 and make a plan to bridge these gaps. The actions you decide to take will depend on the type of strategy you feel comfortable with, but also on your budget and where in the world you will need IP protection. The fifth step 
is where the plan is implemented. You know that the success of your IP strategy will depend on the tools such as contracts and education of your team members. Finally, your IP can become your most valuable intangible asset, so keep an eye on yours and others' IP. And make sure your IP is aligned with your business goals. SAPO's Intellectual Property Advisors act as a source of information about IP for small and medium-sized enterprises, entrepreneurs, intermediaries in the innovation system, post-secondary institutions, and government stakeholders. IP advisors help SMEs and entrepreneurs understand the strategic value of their IP and can provide information and guidance as they develop an IP strategy for their business.